Join us as we depart for a tour through the Mojave Desert to visit several sites where aviation history was made and is still being made today. When you travel these lonely roads through the desert north of Los Angeles, most people don't realize that this region was, and still is, used by aircraft manufacturers to build some of the most iconic aircraft ever built. And we're going to show you where. Included in that list of iconic airplanes are the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, the B-2 Stealth Bomber, the F-22 Raptor, the Space Shuttle, if you want to classify that as an aircraft, and many drone or UAVs used by our military today. Oh, and let's not forget the legendary XB-70 Valkyrie. Also along the way, we'll visit other aviation-related sites, including a few aviation boneyards, a dry lake where hobbyists play with their flying machines, and where commercial aircraft are put into long-term storage, especially in 2020 during the Boeing 737 MAX fiasco and the COVID pandemic. So much of our modern aviation technology was developed in the Mojave Desert during the second half of the 20th century, most of it for military purposes. With its abundant supply of good weather and open spaces, aircraft manufacturers flock to this region to test out their designs. Located between Los Angeles and Las Vegas, the Mojave Desert roughly covers this large swath of land. This region includes many well-known aviation-related bases or sites that include the infamous Area 51, which is part of the Nellis Air Force Range. For more info on that, Look for our separate video tour about the ET Highway and Area 51. There is also the nearby Nellis Air Force Base itself, outside of Las Vegas, where a variety of military aircraft can be seen flying around, especially during red flag exercises. China Lake Naval Air Weapons Station Edwards Air Force Base, Air Force Plant No. 42 near Palmdale, and the former George Air Force Base near Victorville. We're going to focus our road trip on this area here, the Mojave Desert region between the towns of Victorville and Palmdale. Because this area is close to where a lot of manufacturing and testing occurred, you can bet there are some interesting artifacts and history lying around this part of the desert. You can drive this tour in any direction, from east to west or west to east. If you drive it from east to west, as we're going to do on this video tour, you'll be starting in Victorville and ending in Palmdale. The guy you're listening to right now has a lot of experience in this area and has driven this route hundreds of times since the early 1980s. Over those 40 years, I've actually seen very little change. Many of the relics and aviation facilities I've looked at and passed by are still here today. Along with things related to aviation history, you'll also see some other relics along the way including dozens of abandoned buildings, some prized collections of private yard art, and, best of all, some great desert scenery. You may be wondering, why have I driven this route so many times? Well, because I lived in Victorville and took these back roads eastbound as both shortcuts to get to places where I worked and for the fun of exploring. I've also driven this road at different times of the day and night. During many of those trips, I've seen some interesting aircraft flying around by day and odd-looking lights in the sky at night. I was once buzzed by a gyrocopter. The pilot and I stared at each other briefly as he whizzed by. I've also attended many air shows at nearby Edwards Air Force Base and seen many of the aircraft developed in this region both up close on static displays as well as flying just above my head. 
So join my wife and I as we take you down a series of back roads, all of which are paved and easy to drive, but a little tricky to navigate. We'll start by exploring Southern California Logistics Airport, known simply as SCLA, which used to be called George Air Force Base. SCLA is now known as one of the biggest airplane parking lots in the United States. This has especially been true during the events of 2020. We'll head west through the town of Atalanto to El Mirage Dry Lake. Here we'll see a unique recreation spot. Close by, we'll visit a real aircraft boneyard and a neighboring unmanned aerial vehicle, or UAV, manufacturing and testing facility. Continuing west, we'll pass by some interesting and wide open desert scenery. We'll end our tour by taking a loop around Air Force Plant 42, where so many well-known aircraft were made. We'll also visit the Blackbird Air Park, where we can get up close and personal with many of those iconic aircraft. All right, let's get started with a quick look at SCLA. As you can see, SCLA is a few miles northwest of Victorville and Interstate 15. After George Air Force Base closed in 1992, the adjoining cities fought over control of it for a few years, and then SCLA was born. Driving around SCLA is actually kind of fun. The old buildings from the base, plus several newer ones, are now all aircraft servicing facilities and are all located on the south side, here. You can get a good, up-close view of all the parked planes here. Over the years, all kinds of airplanes have been seen here. For a time, Boeing was testing their 787 Dreamliner here and old jumbo jets were converted to fight fires, such as these DC-10 air tankers. Airplanes stored here are better preserved because of the desert's very dry air. Moisture quickly oxidizes the many strands of wire used in airplanes. To see more stored aircraft and possibly being dismantled, find your way to these roads highlighted on the map on the north side of the airport then go a short distance to the south. When you're done with SCLA, use your phone to navigate your way through Atalanto to the beginning of El Mirage Road. Here you can reset your trip meter so that you can find some of the places I'm going to show you in this tour. All right, let's go back to the bigger map to see our tour overall. When navigating these back roads from east to west, if you ever get confused at an intersection, just remember that our route follows a pattern of turns where first you turn right, then after a short distance you turn left. The route we're taking repeats this sequence all the way to Palmdale. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now so you can enjoy the trip. I'll leave you looking back at SCLA, which is where we just came from, and begin our journey west through the desert. Here we go, and as always, happy exploring.
Thank you.